Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Ah, uh, let's talk about ping. <laughs> now, I don't know about you guys, but recently, in fact, about the last 10 days, I, myself, have been suffering with terrible ping. Terrible ping. Now, let's be honest. I don't always have good ping. I am inevitable. In fact, I regularly play with ping between 120 and 160, but recently that ping has been totally crazy. So what exactly is going on? And what exactly is ping? Well, simply put, ping is the method of communicating the latency time between two networks. In other words, the amount of time it takes for data to travel from point A to point B, or between two devices on a network. The less ping you have, then the more effective the communication lines are. Now, interestingly, I never knew this, the speed of your internet connection has nothing to do with ping. That's something I never actually knew. Every time I learn something new, it pushes some old stuff out of my brain. However, aside from apps such as Ping Plotter and such, you are in fact able to check your own ping connections all on yourself, especially if you work on a computer be that a Mac or be that a PC. For Mac, you just need to go into the terminal area of the Mac and type ping followed by the domain name. In my case, it would be login one dot world of uh, WT blitz dot EU and terminal will run a ping test between you and that connection. Same applies for Windows. Although you need to go into the command prompt for that and do exactly the same thing. Basically type in whatever domain you're hooking up to. And uh, it's either login one, login zero, login two, login three or login four dot WTblitz dot EU. Change the EU to NA or, A or, or, or Asia, depending on where you are sat. Now, high ping in itself isn't that problematic. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the angry dome. Unless, of course, if you're hitting around 250 plus, because that starts to impact upon you playing tanks like lights and mediums. But below that, it is perfectly possible to play the game without too much trauma. However, what I've been experiencing recently actually makes the game, the game that I absolutely adore, almost unplayable and certainly not that much fun. Reality is often disappointing. I experience massive, massive ping spikes, jumping from 200 to 600 and then back down to like 100 and back up to 400 constantly. And it just jumps around all the time. Ironically, most of the time it jumps just as I'm about to make a move. I'm about to make a shot or I'm about to pull something out of the hat and then I just get wrecked. There is no loss in most instances. So the package loss stays the same and I just get huge ping surges that are both unpredictable and unplayable, to be fair, in almost all cases. Ah, you all say, but it's at your end. It's your problem, not wargaming's. And it has nothing to do with wargaming. And yes, you may have something there about that. I'm not sure. So I checked and I checked and I checked. Now, as I said, internet connection is not going to do with ping, but my internet connection is fine. I hit almost 900 uh, megabytes per second, as you can see. And I even jumped onto ping plotter to try and work out if there was anything there. And ping plotter tells me, as you can see here, that my ping should be anywhere between, you know, 120 and 140. That's between me and login number one on the EU server. And it's even telling me that there are numerous connections between me and the EU, but my ping should be pretty stable at 120 to 140. But that is not the ping I'm getting. So what on earth is going on here? And am I the only one experiencing this? Now, during many of the games I've played recently, I see messages in the battle chat complaining of ping. I've tuned with clan members who tell me that their ping is pretty stable at, say, 40. Yet, the lag that they're experiencing is huge and terrible, 
which makes playing almost impossible for them. So where is the actual problem? And there is, is there anything we as players can actually do about it? Now, when you're faced with such things, strange things go on in your mind. And I've even started to think that is my iPad, which in fairness is a 2024 gen iPad Pro. Oh dear, oh dear, that is an old Apple, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Huh. When did you buy that? Yeah, last week. Last week? Oh, they brought out two new Apples since then. But is it? I literally question everything at my end. Is it my internet? Is it my iPad? Is it my setup? Or is it just, have I got the graphic settings too high and it's burning too much? I, I, I don't know. I second guess myself at every stage. And then I remember that just over 10 days ago before I started experiencing this problem, everything was fine. The ping was around 120. There was no loss, there was no lag. So what's changed and where has that change occurred? I even started to think, because you generally do, that maybe it's because it's the cluster I'm on. Is it is CO better than C1, C2, C3 or C4? Are the clusters overloaded on the EU server with too many players? Have I just done something wrong at my end that has basically made the game, at least for me, unplayable? Or is it something that resides within the infrastructure itself at Wargaming's end? Now, am I the only one experiencing this? Or are there others out there going through the same experience or having the same pain that I currently feel ping wise. I did a stream last night. My ping jumped around more than a drunk in a mosh pit at an Iron Maiden gig. And some of the YouTube chat complained about the very same issues that they themselves are experiencing more recently. Which makes me think I'm certainly not alone in this. And if I'm not alone, then it can't be an issue related purely to me, my internet, my connections, my iPad, or anything at my end. I'm therefore interested to find out what you guys have to say on this. Are you experiencing the same problems? Are you having these big ping spikes? Do you have lag issues or such? Have you tried to roll out only to be faced with a situation at, that the game is totally unplayable due to ping problems. And what do you guys think the cause of this is? From what I can see, every available source that is available for me to check tells me that my ping should be hitting no more than 140. Now at the time I did this video, that's what they were telling me. Ping plotter told me that, my computer told me that, yet I'm hitting in excess of 300 ping. So clearly there's an issue somewhere along the lines. And that issue doesn't appear to be sitting between me and Wargaming's server, meaning it can only be related to Wargaming's infrastructure side, nothing else. It's an Occam's razor situation. Why are you guys jumping to such ridiculous conclusions? Haven't you ever heard of Occam's Razor, the simplest explanation is probably the correct one. In this case, the problem rests with Wargaming. Alternatively, Sherlock Holmes once famously said that if you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. So, yeah, if you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. So what I told you was true, from a certain point of view. And I've eliminated almost everything, bringing me to the conclusion that the only thing I can't eliminate is Wargaming's infrastructure. So I eliminated the impossible. I found the simplest explanation. And what remains, at least from my side, after trying literally everything available to me, points firmly and squarely at Wargaming's service. But again, I'd like to know what you think. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been my take on the terrible ping I'm experiencing recently. And I'd like to know your views and your thoughts on this. So that's what the comments are there for. Put your, put your views, your thoughts and everything into the comments and let me know. And until next time, guys, try to stay safe out there. Try 
to have fun on the battlefield and try to have some very happy tanking because that's what it's all about, having fun and being happy.